All right, everyone. Welcome back to the land of Kemp. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone. Welcome back. This is Sunday Site Visit 46, and today's exploration has two parts. First, we are going to investigate the ongoing reconstruction project at the Pyramid of Menkara. And second, we are going to investigate some rarely seen areas of the Giza Plateau, including what appears to be the remains of a structure that may have been constructed completely from white calcite crystal and the Pyramid of Kenkawes. If this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the ancient technology of a lost civilization utilizing physics and chemistry, and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube. Don't forget, click that little notification bell so that you do not miss the new episodes that premiere twice per week. Please like, comment, and stay tuned. If you want to help support the channel, check out The Land of Chem members-only channel. Link in the video description below for exclusive research-related content and unreleased footage that you will not see anywhere else. If you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some Land of Chem merch, Check out thelandofchem.com. I used to have a stack of like 20 Land of Chem t-shirts when I moved to Egypt that have now all since disappeared. I think my wife Alexa has been wearing them all. You're welcome for the shirts, babe. Thank you. <laughs> if you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Land of Chem. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. Also, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats and Egypt Eats, also linked in the video description below. I think that's it for the intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. And just a quick reminder for anyone that's interested in coming to Egypt to see the pyramids for yourself, the Land of Chem 2024 Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Tour is on and bookings are still available. If you want to join the group, please send me an email to contact at thelandofchem.com with the subject line 2024 Egypt Tour, and I will send you the full itinerary and pricing details. Thank you all so much. And I will see you soon here in Egypt. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. And to begin, here's an article from CBS News discussing the reconstruction of Menkara project that has recently been started by the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities, where an Egyptian and Japanese team are going to reassemble the lower 16 tiers of red granite casing stones that were removed from the structure in ancient antiquity. And I will quote here that Dr. Mostafa Waziri, Secretary General of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, said in a video that it would be, quote, the project of the century, calling it, quote, Egypt's gift to the world in the 21st century. And here is a picture from about a week ago when they had a crane on site to begin moving some of the blocks that now lay scattered around the exterior of the pyramid and prepare to put them back into place on the face of the structure. However, this project has not been well received by the general public or the archeological community. As you can see here, Giza Pyramid Restoration Project sparks outrage in Egypt. Plan to resurface a pyramid in granite draws heated debate. An ancient pyramid is getting a modern makeover. Critics are outraged. And as you will see in the footage, they broke ground on the northern side of the pyramid and began to excavate down to the bedrock. Exposing the fact that there are still several layers of red granite casing stones that are still buried below the sand. And you can see here that this hole is pretty deep and they had to dig to get down to the bedrock, which you can see the foundations here. But why the hell did they do this? And you are about to see that there are a lot of things about this so-called reconstruction project that don't quite add up. And I have a suspicion that there may be ulterior motives for this undertaking. And you can see here an exaggerated diagram showing what may still be buried below the sand on the northern face of the Pyramid of Menkara. 
And I say exaggerated because the team only revealed maybe two or three tiers or layers of casing stones below the sand level, which you can see here, where this diagram shows about a half a dozen. But what is still hidden below the sand is still to be determined. Now, this is the latest news. After the immense backlash from the international community, quote, scientific committee formed to review the restoration project for the Menkau Ra Pyramid at the Giza Plateau. So it appears that they are re-evaluating the project before it moves forward. And we saw on the Giza Plateau yesterday that as of now, it looks like the work has been at least temporarily stopped. And here again, a picture from about a week ago showing them moving these red granite blocks with a crane. And a final update here from ABC News as of February 2nd, entitled Controversial Egypt Pyramid Renovation Likely to be Rolled Back. And old Zahi Huas has now jumped in also in opposition of the project. So for now, they are stopping this proposed reconstruction. And I'll read a few quotes here. The new project will most likely be confined to topographic mapping of the pyramid and documentation of the granite blocks found, Hawass said, adding that officials rushed into how they presented the plan to the public. Digging in the site, however, will continue with the aim of unearthing more layers of bedrock beneath the pyramid, he said. The team is hopeful they can uncover other important findings in the process. So what are these important findings that they hope to uncover? And here, the project led by an Egyptian-Japanese archaeological mission is slated to last three years, Waziri of the Antiquities Council said. Studying fallen blocks, including through photogrammetry and laser scanning, will take at least one year. So they are continuing with excavations of the lower casing stones that are still buried below the sand and a laser scanning project of the pyramid structure. And we found equipment inside the pyramid for this laser scanning that you will see in just a moment. So after hearing about this story, Alexa and I decided to head up to the Giza Plateau to see what all the fuss was about. And now you will get to see firsthand documentation and on-site reporting live from here in Egypt. While all the other channels just talk about it, I am here living it. And today, you will also get to see some extremely rare footage from the remains of what appears to be a crystal temple and some exclusive new video from the Pyramid of Kent Kawes. So now, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I hope you enjoy Sunday Site Visit 46 from the Giza Plateau. All right, everyone, welcome back. It's been a while. We decided to come up here to the Giza Plateau today to investigate and get first-hand documentation of the current reconstruction of the Pyramid of Menkara. And you heard that correctly. There is an ongoing project. Well, first and foremost, let me say it's Friday here in Egypt and it was an absolute madhouse trying to get up here onto the Giza Plateau. So if you want to see what it's like to come up to the Giza Plateau on Friday, which is like the Egyptian local off day, it's like Saturday, but they do Friday. If you want to see what that's like, go check out my wife Alexa's channel, Ancient Odysseys, and she has footage of our adventure to get up to the Giza Plateau today. And so here, it's the Pyramid of Menkara. And the new director of the Ministry of Antiquities has started a project to reassemble the layer of granite casing stones, some of which are still in place. And I can already see that they've gotten some of them put back up. Again, I'm gonna do my best to leave my personal opinion about this project out of the video, but you, you'll be able to see 
the work that they have done thus far. So this is a huge project and a huge issue here in Egypt and in the archaeological community. And another land of chem exclusive because this will be the first channel to get documentation of this project. So we're going to go take a look. And we'll be right back. All right. And as of the last time that I was up here, I can already tell you that they have started moving stones. So you can see here, these are casing stones, red granite casing stones that they have scattered in the ancient time all around the exterior of the Pyramid of Menkara. And you can see here that they've moved them from the piles over here and I'll try to get a picture of the massive crane they had a crane set up out here and I'll show you that there was an excavation not necessarily an excavation but they had to dig all of the sand from around the exterior casing stones to get down to the bedrock and you can see that these casing stones are going to be put back in place and there's already one that i can kind of see and we've seen evidence of stuff that they've already moved back in place uh, so they've already covered up the hole so as of maybe two weeks ago there was a giant you can see all this sand right here that's been moved all of this sand here and again i'll try to find pictures of so they dug down into this pit to try to hit the bedrock so there's still six feet worth of granite casing stones that are buried underneath all of this sand so they dug a huge pit over here to get down to the bedrock so that they could sit a crane over here to be able to lift the stones back into place so the project is an ongoing three-year project to replace the casing stones onto the exterior of the Pyramid of Menkara. And again, you can see the, the line of stones over here that have been moved and put back on. Those, those weren't here a month or so ago. And you can see as we walk around the exterior of the structure, there's Shokran Jazila. There's, there's red granite casing stones that were taken off of the structure during the ancient time. And that's when they excavated this hole into the top. There was an ancient project to try to disassemble the pyramid of Menkara. And now the project is to put the stones back in place. Shokran, Shokran, Sadiq. Okay, yeah, yeah, Iowa. Iowa. Sadiqi, Anna Bayi Shayna. Shokran, Anna Ben Nasser. Salam. And. So we're going to take a walk around the outside so that you can see where it, it certainly appears that they've already started to re... Well, I don't even want to say reassembled. They've put some back up on the side. Sadiki. Amelie. So again, here are just some examples of the red granite. These are all fragments, and it looks like they're gonna take the biggest, most complete pieces of the camels, of the, the these guys keep saying camel, so I have camels in my brain. The people of the casing stones, the biggest, most complete pieces. And they had some really good examples that I just showed as we were walking up 
toward the structure. And I want to check because I've I've produced many videos from this side of the pyramid of Menkara. And I'm curious to compare. Yeah, you see all these stones that are piled up here? I do not remember that being the case. So again, I'll have to confirm. And they've constructed this big metal building over here in the distance, which looks like a warehouse for all of the construction equipment. So this project is in conjunction with a Japanese team. And I heard rumors that they were also doing some sort of scanning, laser scanning of the structure. So as you saw in my episode on the pyramid, well rather the solar temple at Abu Ghraib, you can do laser scanning and photogrammetry of a site to obtain a digital recreation and reassemble the structure digitally. So that was my first thought is that they're digitally scanning the outside of the pyramid and the remaining blocks to be able to put these pieces back in their original place. But of course, I also suspect ulterior motives for the project that they're most likely scanning the inside of the pyramid. I mean, why not? If you're scanning all the rest of it, you know, utilize the tools at hand and get a thorough scan because inside of this pyramid I've shown in previous episodes, there's a core, there's a core structure inside of the expanded exterior. And to be able to get imaging of that would certainly be a remarkable project. So now we're going to you want to go see the temple? Let's do it. Careful. Here, around this way. All right, so we're going to go film for Alexa's channel for a bit. Again, if you haven't already, please go subscribe to Ancient Odysseys here on YouTube. Lots of kind of behind the scenes footage from all of our expeditions that way, that way. across Egypt, England, Ireland, and all across the world. I want to be on Egypt, <laughs> so stay tuned, we'll be back and we're going to take a journey inside the structure here in just a moment. Okay. They have been working over here. So any of you that have been following along on the channel, so this scaffold is new. Um, <laughs> so again, I'll, I'll show a picture of the crane because there is a photo that shows the crane on the northern side that they've used to move some of these blocks, but uh, you ain't moving any blocks on that flimsy scaffold, so what the hell is this thing for? Interesting. And I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Leave some comments. And let me know what you think about this reconstruction project here at the Pyramid of Menkara. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's a good use of taxpayer time and money? Not that I don't know if they pay taxes here, but certainly government funds and government efforts and to reassemble the casing stones here at the Pyramid of Menkara.
in a very hot topic and certainly a controversial one in the archaeological community. Again, I'll see if I can find some of the news reports and um, commentary that I've seen recently on social media about this project. And let's go walk over here. So you can see this building that they've built. So this, you can, you can see it here in the distance, this building is new. And I'm guessing that it has something to do with the project here. Most likely, you know, storing equipment. I can see some bulldozers over there. And generally speaking, it just looks like a huge warehouse building out here that's been recently built. I will say it feels awesome to be back out here on the Giza Plateau today. Beautiful. And if you're interested, come see it for yourself. 2024 Ancient Alchemy and Ascension Tour. We have private special permission access into all three chambers of the Great Pyramid. No other tourists and all of the locked gates will be opened. I can guarantee you it will be an experience of a lifetime, not to mention our special permission access to the three pyramids of Abu Sir, where we'll investigate that red granite or red quartzite collection bowl and the dual layer container found in the temple of Ptahhotep, maybe Ptahshepsis, one of the two. All right, now we're going to see what else we can find. It's beautiful out here today. So here we go into the pyramid of Ben Kara, the final pyramid of Giza Plateau. I can already tell you it sounds like there's a hundred people down inside this thing. It has been a madhouse on the Giza Plateau today. Never a dull moment. Thank <laughs> you. 
this stuff inside here so this is equipment for scanning this is the same type of equipment that we found inside of the central pyramid and they're assembling all of the equipment for laser scanning so these are mounting brackets where they're going to be hanging stuff on the wall and assembling all of the gear so we saw the people outside that are building these little shelves so they're going to set up all of the gear Again, this isn't actually a box. This is just a covering to hide all of the equipment that's inside here. If you look down here at the bottom, there's no there's no bottom of this box. It's 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 uh because you can't get this thing inside the entryway. They built this inside here to hide all of the gear that's inside of this thing. And we saw the same thing when we went inside this. Uh, Queen's Chamber in the private access to the Great Pyramid and also inside of the Central Pyramid. So they have ongoing scanning projects to look at the inside of all the three pyramids. Um, again, as I said at the beginning of the video, ulterior motives for this quote-unquote reconstruction of the Pyramid of Menkara, it's never always as it seems. Um, it would certainly be beneficial to get laser scans, photogrammetry, digital imagery of the inside of the structure while you have this literal facade project going around the outside. All right, so I was just looking in here. Okay, so this is a housing, a vacant, space around the lowest chamber. So what you can see here are the red granite roof blocks of the lower chamber. So this around it is a hollow cavity surrounding the lower chamber. And for those of you that haven't seen it, we'll, we'll take a walk. There's a ton of people in here today and I wasn't thrilled about going down in there but we'll, we'll do it for demonstration sake so you can see what the inside looks like but over here in this corner there's a shaft that leads out of this vacant cavity and this detail supports my initial interpretation of the function of this chamber which I will be getting to soon. Everything about these structures is intentional in terms of the construction. And to have this vacant cavity around the lower chamber doesn't really make any sense in terms of construction perspective, but it certainly does when you look at it from the perspective of chemistry and what I think was going on in the lower chamber. And you can see there in that back corner back behind here there's a there's what looks to be a shaft or a passageway leading out to the west of the chamber 
Um, so it's gotten much quieter in here. And we're gonna take a look. One thing I also noticed when I was looking in this hole here, so there's a bilateral set of holes, bilateral meaning on both sides of the chamber here and here. And there's a bunch of iron oxide. See this orange stuff, this orange material here and here, a bunch of iron oxide down in there. And again, here's another bilateral housing. You can see the hole here and the one on the other side, which is here. And so this, as explained previously, is the original inlet to the chamber system. So this shaft goes to the exterior of the core pyramid, but not to the exterior of the cased finished pyramid. And as we were saying on the outside of the structure, there's, there's two layers. There's an internal pyramid, and then the structure was later expanded. Okay. So now we're inside the lower, the lower chamber. So this is the inside of the vaulted A-frame chamber that we saw looking in from the top. And so that passage would be in this direction on the western side of the cavity surrounding this chamber. inside of this chamber. And I don't know if I mentioned before, but one of the attempts to conventionally explain the staining inside the Red Pyramid is because of the pressure from the weight of the entire pyramid pushing down on the stone. Well, as you can clearly see in this pyramid, there's zero pressure from above on this chamber. This chamber is sitting inside of an empty cavity with zero stones on top of this. So there is no pressure from above from the weight of the entire body of the pyramid pushing down. And just a quick announcement. New Land of Chem merch is now available. I just dropped the Nano Gold fifth degree logo on a black t-shirt and hoodie. And I'm very excited to present the new spectacular white horse logo on a black hoodie and the premium high definition, extra large white horse logo on this exceptional quality black t-shirt. And once again, thank you so much to friend and supporter of the channel, Adam Arrington from New Zealand for collaborating with me on this new logo design. He has done some amazing work in helping me bring my ideas for the Land of Chem logos to life. And if you wanna check out more of his work, I'll put a link to his Instagram in the video description below. The Egyptian blue version of the Land of Chem book and the last 30 or so of the signed first edition purple orchid paper print are still available. So if you wanna show some love, just check out thelandofchem.com and thank you all so much for the support. All right, now that you've seen the footage from the final pyramid of Giza, here is what you are about to see during the rest of our plateau exploration. Let's go. So after we left the inside of the Pyramid of Menkara here, we walked around the western side of the pyramid here toward the satellite pyramids and then proceeded to investigate an unusual looking structure at the top of this outcrop, which you can see here. 
He then walked over in this direction on the southern side of the satellite pyramids to investigate the remains of what appears to be a structure that was built completely from white calcite crystal. And you can see here from Google Earth that there was definitely a large temple or structure of some sort here. And you can see all the fragments of white calcite crystal here. Whatever this was is now completely destroyed and mostly buried. And here, reorienting so you can see the location of this calcite crystal temple down here in relation to the southeastern corner of the Pyramid of Menkara. We then walked over in this direction here to explore the temple here and the pyramid of Kent Kawes here, one of my absolute favorite areas of the Giza Plateau. And again, pulling back to give you some orientation, here is the Great Pyramid, here is the Central Pyramid, here is the Final Pyramid. This is the area we stopped entitled Panoramic View. We then investigated the Calcite Crystal Temple located here, which if you look here, you can see the foundations of a large enclosure wall that run here around the outside of the Pyramid of Menkara and then continuing in this direction with whatever this structure is buried here. And then down this way toward the Pyramid of Kenkawes. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get to the footage. All right, so here we are on the western side of the final pyramid. And I noticed that there's another recently filled in hole here. You can see all this disturbed sand. There's another hole that was filled in here. But look at this. The eroded channel right here. And then another eroded channel right here. And there's actually a whole bunch of them. Hold on. Here, 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 coming down in through here. Look at this hole, that eroded hole. There's one here, here, here and here all flowing down and converging into this area here so my question again uh, oh there's a whole bunch of them there's a there's one here 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 and look at all this disturbed sand over here okay so there's disturbed sand here where there was a hole recently dug There's all of this, and see here, they tried to fill this one back up with rocks. A bunch of rocks in this channel here. This whole area here is disturbed sand, recently dug out. And then we have this hole over here. So what are they really doing up here? What are they digging for up here? Um, there is 
there's certainly evidence for an ulter ulterior motives for this project. And these are all acidic erosion channels that are converging into a very specific area. Is there an inlet shaft down below here? So we just showed evidence that there is a, a shaft leading in from the western side of the Pyramid of Menkara into the area surrounding the chamber. So there was an excavation here. There was some something going on here. And then that hole that I showed at the beginning. So just out of curiosity, we're going to take a walk here, over here. I'm just trying to see if there's any more disturbed sand over here. And I wish you could see this because I can't really zoom in, but right over here on the hill, there's a little mound with a single pillar sitting on top of it. You see that? So now I'm curious. And if all the camels can go out here, they can't tell me I can't go out there. Right. All right, and now we're on the western side of G3C, which is the third satellite pyramid adjacent to the Pyramid of Menkara, and look at this. I would love to dig down in there and see where that goes, because if you look, this actually looks to be a piece of the bedrock. See here, this is bedrock. So whatever this is goes down into the bedrock. It's not just like a free piece that you could lift, lift up and move. This is set in place here. Certainly looks to me like an inlet of some sort where you could pour fluid down into here, into the subterranean chamber. a view <sighs> bit of a hike <laughs> through some dunes to get up here I will say walking through sand is a pain in the ass so from here this is Gebel Ghibli that I showed in the episode regarding the tomb of the birds, which is another outcrop of bedrock 
that's associated with ancient mining. Look at that. Pretty badass. And I don't know if this thing is modern or ancient or what. Uh, I would say it feels like we're definitely on top of a structure. Uh, it's brick. But I noticed this thing from the distance. Why the hell did they build this thing up here? What was up here originally? Okay, so here is the new visitor center. Under which the tomb of the birds is located. So I think that's probably maybe our next stop. Okay, my question is, what the hell was up here? So I got a nice little rod of metal up here, anchored into the ground. And this thing, what the hell is this for? What was here originally that they covered up that's inside of this brick? absolutely pointless you know we're on top of a mound why the hell did they build this thing up here I guarantee you this thing is hollow and there's something inside there or below there so this area over here is pyramids view where you can get a view of the entire Giza pyramid complex here in front of us one two and three this is g3 a b and c the three satellites on the south side of the pyramid of menkara menkara here central pyramid there and from this vantage point you cannot see the great pyramid I will say it is nice to be able to get some deep breaths of fresh air up here. Fresh air, not something you get all the time in Egypt. Awesome. All right, on to the next spot. And here is another area of the Giza Plateau that you probably won't see anywhere else. Final Pyramid, Central Pyramid, and Great Pyramid. From the southeastern corner. So we just walked through this excavated area here. To come down here. Look at all of this. whole area here is filled with large blocks 
of white calcite crystal. And there are some pieces of this calcite material embedded in the floor of the Central Pyramid Eastern Temple. And this area is referred to as a calcite quarry. This is not a quarry. This is the remains of a structure that has since been quarried. So we'll start up here. And you can see the remains of blocks that are part of a structure that was here. right there structure here and if I remember I'll do a Google satellite image of this area you can see here there's a big piece of red granite more calcite walls big deposit of iron oxide there this whole structure looks to have been made from calcite crystal all of these fragments here are all pieces of white calcite crystal So was there an entire structure made from these huge blocks of crystal out here? And this is directly southeast of the corner of the Pyramid of Menkara. You see this huge block of crystal? Beautiful patterns. And to my knowledge, there's really only one other place. So here, ooh, look at these fragments here. This is gorgeous. Look at that three-dimensional cubic pattern. That is wild. I mean, the surface of this rock almost looks like a digital pixelated image. So in the Eastern Temple of the Central Pyramid, in the floor of the Valley Temple, and here are the only areas on the Giza Plateau with this calcite material and these are some huge blocks so whatever was over here was a fairly large structure and Lex was just pointing out the this is uh, the base of a pillar or a column So what the hell was out here? Another mystery of the Giza Plateau.
just huge pieces of crystal. Not too bad. All right, and it looks like we just might have a chance to get over to the pyramid of Kenkawes. Ai wa wa ana baru, ana baru. And the site keeper is down there. So this is the entry into this structure. And there's a sub, you can see this is all blocked off here with modern blocks. The Asita project got down inside here. And this structure is connected via a subterranean channel or tunnel system that leads from the upper part of the Giza Plateau down into this direction. And then we have here on the southern side, the Pyramid of Kent Cowes. And I've been in here before, and we'll see if we can just walk over this way. show you real quick we can get down in here Alright, so we are on the eastern side of the Pyramid of Kent Cowes. And this is the collection pit, or a collection pit. Here is an eroded channel that's been plugged with a granite block leading down into this pit. And there are two other eroded channels here. And here, all of which converge into this pit. And you can see here, this is a granite plug block that's been wedged into this channel.
huge pieces of red granite that once stood out in front of the structure. I didn't notice this last time, but there's a pit back here. And here is the opening into the subterranean chambers. And if you guys haven't seen my videos on the Pyramid of Cowes, I show diagrams of the internal components and some of my other footage for the last time that I was back here. But through, down through here, there's a shaft that leads to a subterranean chamber down through this way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our expedition to the Giza Plateau today. Thank you all so much. Stay tuned for more exclusive content. You're not going to see this anywhere else. The reconstruction of the Pyramid of Menkara. The first documentation coming from a source live in Egypt. The Crystal Temple on the southeastern corner of the Pyramid of Menkara. And down here, at the Pyramid of Kenkawes. And we'll get some more footage on the way back up. Please subscribe, stay tuned. See you next time. totally go down in there. You got a flashlight? That's You want to dish it back there? That's a pretty steep drop off. And if I went down in there, there's nowhere to get back up. I can help. Babe. All right. Can I see? Can I take that? Very tempting. <laughs> hey, careful.
All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. This was Sunday Site Visit 46 from the Pyramid of Menkara, the Giza Plateau, White Calcite Crystal Temple, and the Pyramid of Kenkawes. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and in the next episode in the series, I will be explaining a massive topic that will be coming up here on the Land of Chem channel, Electric Field Chemistry. This is an episode you do not want to miss, so if you're interested in the ancient technology of a lost civilization utilizing chemistry and physics, and the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube, click that little notification bell, like, comment, stay tuned. If you want to help support the channel, check out the Land of Chem members only channel and thelandofchem.com. If you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at the Land of Chem. Also, don't forget, please go subscribe to our two new channels here on YouTube, Egyptian Trash Cats, for all you cat lovers out there in Egypt Eats for food reviews from all the fantastic restaurants that we visited on our expeditions across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you all so much for the support. I think that's it for today's video. So I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to the Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button. New videos coming out every single week. And check out this other episode. Come on, do it. Do it now.